Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union is always proud of its history of construction, development and success, which brought in fine, glorious tradition. With its courage, talent, strength and creativeness, Vietnamese young people are confidently building their nation, striving for a strong union which is a reliable reserve force of the Communist Party of Vietnam and a school for young socialists. The Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union plays a leading role in youth movement. The Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union is now a strong organization. During its history, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union has always been raising high the patriotism, revolutionary heroism and the national valuable traditions, organizing and mobilizing young people to be in the vanguard for the cause of national construction and defense. The union was founded on the 26th of March 1931. A good deal of advanced young people from 1930 to 1931 wave of revolution and the Soviet Nating movement were admitted to the Union right after its foundation. Many examples of young, brave people in revolutionary struggle have been recognized. The first Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union's member, Li Tự Chak, who was famous for the saying, young people has no other way but to take the revolutionary road, was one of them. Following the guidelines of the Communist Party and Uncle Ho, the Youth League for National Salvation, together with young people all over the country, the party, the people and army, had risen up and successfully carried out the August Revolution, which opened the new era of independence, freedom for the nation, with the establishment of the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. In realizing President Ho Chi Minh and the revolutionary government's appeal, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union's members pioneered in the campaign against hunger, illiteracy and invaders. After the nine-year resistance in May 1954, our people and army won the Diet Bien Phu battle, which was a world-shaking triumph. Such young heroes and heroines as La Văn Cầu, Cú Chính Lan, Nguyễn Thị Chiên, Bế Văn Đàn had set good examples of courage and resilience. They deserve to represent a generation of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union's members who lived by the saying, die for the survival of the nation. In March 1961, in the Third National Youth Union Congress, the union launched the movement, pioneer and volunteer to overfulfill the first five-year plan. In August 1964, when the U.S. escalated the war to the north, the Capital Youth launched the movement, Three Readinesses. This movement had deepened and widely developed throughout the country. Millions of young Vietnamese had supported this movement by showing their willingness and determination to assist the South with the spirit, do not return until defeat the American invaders. In February 1965, the Southern Youth Union Congress launched the movement Five Volunteerings. Many brilliant feats had been accomplished both individually and collectively. The victorious smile of Miss Võ Thị Thang in the U.S. imperialist court, the immortal saying of Hero Nguyễn Văn Choi, for the sake of happiness, let's expel the U.S. enemy, had touched the young people's hearts worldwide. The order of the revolutionary hero Nguyễn Viet Xuân, aim right at the enemy, had urged our people and army to defeat the enemy. The victory of the historic Ho Chi Minh campaign had facilitated the 1975 Great Spring victory, enabling the North and South unification and starting to build socialism. The victory is partly owed to the great contributions of the Union's members in all fields, where they fought with all their courage, intelligence, fearlessness, sacrifice and determination. After the unification, in order to heal the war wounds, millions of the Union's members had actively participated in the movements, pioneering towards collective ownership, youths in national construction and defence. Hundreds of thousands of the Union's members had joined the army to defend national border and fulfil international duties. In 1993, the two major movements, setting up career for youths, and Youths and National Defend were launched and enthusiastically supported by Youths Nationwide. Since 2000, the beginning of the new century, then the Youth Volunteer Movement enjoyed new practical developments and was illegally supported by a great deal of the Union's members, which created a new image of Vietnamese youth in the new period. 
The Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union has actively taken initiatives and implemented thousands of important socio-economic programs and projects, namely eradication of suspension bridge, concrete bridge construction in Mekong Delta, Youth Island, Ho Chi Minh Highway, Youth Village. Thanks to these works, the Vietnamese people had good impression on the young generation. The 8th Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union Congress in December 2002 launched the major movement, Emulation and Volunteering for Fatherland's Construction and Defense, which called for the youth unification under the guidelines of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union. The youth was determined to take their chances, overcome challenges and greatly contribute to the country's renovation cause. The new movement urged millions of young people to learn, explore science and technology, work creatively, volunteer for community services and contribute to preserve political security, social order and safety. Campaigns like Youth Should Ho Chi Minh Thoughts, Vietnamese Youth Should Study and Follow Ho Chi Minh's Moral Example, Campaigns such as successes, the traditional touchlight, forever at the age of 20, and youth leading and useful lives forum launched by the union had a great social effect and significantly contributed to raise the youth's awareness and strengthen their revolutionary idealism. On the 27th founding anniversary of the Communist Party, February the 3rd, the Politburo and the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Vietnam launched the Study and Follow Ho Chi Minh's Moral Example campaign, which has been actively realized by the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union and Nationwide Youths. They have concretized the campaign by their own movement, Vietnam Youth to Study and Follow Ho Chi Minh's Moral Example, which has brought in remarkable results. The 9th Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union Congress held in Hanoi from December the 17th to the 21st, 2007, strongly stated that the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union would keep on its comprehensive renovation, try to be the best friend of Vietnamese young people, guide them to the revolutionary idealism and noble values, stand side by side with them in promotion of their careers, contribute to the socio-economic development and national defense. During this term, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union concentrated on two movements, five pioneerings for socio-academic development and national defense, and four accompanyings to help set up careers for youth. These two movements not only exploit the youth's potential, but also offer them challenges through which they gain more knowledge and experience, thus contributing to the development of the youth, community and the country. Furthermore, these two movements protect the youth's legitimate benefits, mobilize all social sources to guide and support them. Other major programs of the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union like Month of Youths, Youth Volunteers Campaign, Lighting Up Vietnamese Youth Dreams, Paying Tribute to Many Heroes, When the Fatherland Calls, with new appealing content, have effectively attracted a lot of young people in different walks of life. As a result, these programs have been highly appreciated and supported by the society. Moreover, the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union has actively participated in important international youth activities in the region and the world, contributed to strengthening friendship, understanding and mutual confidence among young generations of Vietnam and other countries. Vietnamese youths have also equipped themselves with necessary skills and knowledge to participate into the country's international integration. Particularly, the party and state have decided 2011 to be the Year of the Youth, also the year the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union celebrates its 80th founding anniversary. This is a great honor of Vietnamese youths and also a good chance for the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union to intensify its emulation movements, member unity and youth education. Full of enthusiasm, members and youths nationwide would implement with great success the Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union's agenda for 2011, aside with the motto, Act for a Healthy Social Environment for Youths. Youths are not only the backbone, the future owners of the country, but also one of the decisive factors to the success of the country's industrialization, modernization, international integration and socialism construction. 
The Ho Chi Minh Communist Youth Union has vowed to consistently follow the glorious flag raised by the party and Uncle Ho and dedicate themselves to the construction and defense of their fatherland, the Socialist Republic of Vietnam.